between the disorder and the MMR vaccine. The vaccination debate was reignited after Northland doctor Lance O'Sullivan stormed the stage of controversial film Vaxxed in Kaitaia on Monday night. Figures obtained by Checkpoint from ESR today show of the 101 cases of measles notified between January and September last year, 78 patients were not vaccinated. And Dr O'Sullivan, backed by Autism New Zealand, the Health Minister Jonathan Coleman and the New Zealand Medical Association says anti-vaccine advocates only need to look a dying child in the eyes to see how important vaccinations are. In a moment we'll hear from him but first here's what those attending a screening of Vaxxed in the Northland town of Mongatoroto last night had to say to our reporter Zach Fleming. I've never seen any good science indicating that vaccines are actually beneficial um, and to some extent I think that they're a little bit of a marketing exercise on behalf of Big Pharma. So. But the world was once inundated with smallpox and polio it and was. now both have almost been the, eliminated. The big, the big question is whether or not that was caused by improved hygiene and improved uh, nutrition and improved living standards. This whole thing of vaccination is... When you talk to my friends in, in natural health, we always come up to the whole thing that it's brainwashing. It's like all of society is brainwashed. The heavy metals, the preservatives, the... Um, DNA from aborted fetuses that are, are used and that are made, that you have to carry the virus into the body on, I kind of find it morally unacceptable, um, even if there is some medical benefits to it. If the people who are so fearful of catching things, who are vaccinated, are that fearful and they have such trust that it'll work, what have they got to fear? In fact, the people they don't like, who they say aren't vaccinated, well, won't they just die of things and they won't be there anyway, so the problem's gone, so I mean... What have they got to, what, what's the, what, that's not a good argument. Because some people can't be vaccinated because their immune systems aren't good enough, so they say that we should vaccinate ourselves to protect them. Thank you very much. Well, we live on a planet where shit happens. Zach Fleming put those responses this afternoon to the man who has become the face of the debate, Dr Lance O'Sullivan. Oh, that shit happens, um, brainwashing, what the f Excuse my language. What do you think when you listen to that? Oh, look, I'm not surprised, actually. I mean, those arguments, they're, they're flaky, they're paper thin in terms of... It's, it's basically emotion and irrational thought. There's no reasoning there. I mean, the idea of Big Pharma, you know, this conspiracy, and this is what they always talk about, anti-vaxxers. They always talk about Big Pharma being, you know, uh, where everyone's in the pockets of Big Pharma. It's all about profits. And... That, that is such a common and rolled out uh, reason, uh, you know, for us to reject immunisations. It's just, it's just not funny. It's stupid. I, I heard um, you. I heard you snigger when he when he said about the aborted fetuses thing. Oh yeah, I mean, look, that's that's actually disgraceful and offensive that they would suggest. You know that we're doing this. You know that we, the medical establishment. I mean, you know, I, I just I think that it's, it, again, it just goes to show how. How, how, how ludicrous this argument is, and these people that are, are driving the argument. So, yep, definitely, uh, I would say that's a pretty offensive thing to say. To you know, um, I mean, it, yeah. So that's that. Yep. Yeah. And then, I guess you, you're on the front line. You see these these kids come in with yep. measles, mumps, or rubella, or, or or whatever it is, and you yep. see how ill they are and how much pain they're in. What is what does it feel like for you to hear someone say shit happens in response oh, to that? To hear someone say that, hey, look, we live in a world and a planet where shit happens. I mean, like, that, that is just so, that's just so idiotic. I mean, you know, come into, come into my car, come into my community, or go to a community anywhere in New Zealand, go face, go face the parent of a child who's died from meningitis or from pneumonia or from soup and cough, and you tell them that shit happens. And let's see how far, how long you last in their house. You, yep. you knowing that this is what you're up against in your in your battle, yep. how, does, how do you feel? Do, do you feel like you can change their opinion? You know, <clears throat> you know it's interesting. Um, there is only a very small group of hardcore anti-vaxxers in this country, to be honest, Zach. Yeah. And, uh, and I really don't give two shits about them. Um, it's the people that 
uh, uh, sitting on the fence that I believe are, are decent people who make rational um, choices that are, you know, unfortunately getting misled by these people. That's who I care about. I, I have well, these I have these stats here, which is yeah. kind of the, the real world effect of, of these yeah. opinions. So yeah. we've got um, last year alone 1735, so 1,735 notifications of uh, immunisation preventable diseases and yep. 651 of those were for people under 19. The vast majority is yep. for whooping cough, yep. 1,100 yep. of that. Does oh that, my gosh. Does that surprise you? No, oh, look, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really disappointed to hear that. I mean, if you've ever seen a child who's struggling with whooping cough, it is so incredibly frightening. You know, I mean, they're looking at you with their eyes are in fear, like they, you can you can see a, a six-week-old who, who really has no idea of six, what the big Six weeks like. old. Yep, you can you can see these these six weeks, six months, you know, with this um, amazing sense of fear in the eyes, and they know they haven't even had a chance to really discover what the world's like. But they one thing that's real fast is fear, you know, and um, yeah, that's awful. Uh, I, I it's sort of painful to hear, you know, that we have all these conditions happening and um yeah I've, I've, uh, you know we've tried to help kids you know and um and doctors around the country have tried to save kids and they've lost that battle who have got vaccine preventable diseases um you know these these, these people there's this this group who are in my opinion a very unpleasant group of new zealanders and people from offshore uh you know i you stand over the graves of these children. You stand at the end of the beds of these intensive care units of these children, um, and, and and let's see how how you feel about shit happening then.